Yo, we got some work to do. Don't we all just want to be internet famous Making videos in our basement Six figures and revenue It's so cool to be PewDiePie Or Ethan Klein But YouTube is a fickle bitch There's no guarantees Next month you might not make shit No one knows what advertiser friendly Now it's so just fuck it And make some cool shit Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new freezer full of kangaroo carcasses. My name is Leon Lush and I'm so thankful that you decided to spend a few minutes here with me today. Now as the intro alluded to, I am up to my eyeballs in some very intense training, just an absolutely grueling regimen I'm going through right now because I'm trying to get myself prepared uh, for this weekend, I'm going to be flying out to LA to be part of Mr. Beast's $100,000 search. Now, if for some reason this is your first time ever accessing the internet, you're not sure who Mr. Beast is. He's uh, a big YouTuber. He's grown absolutely exponentially the past 18 months, just pumping out viral video after viral video. I mean 10, 20, 30 million views a click. Just staggering numbers. So a little over a month ago, he uploaded a video to his channel called Last to Leave Circle Wins $10,000 dollars challenge. In that video, he just gets four of his friends to get in a circle together and the rules are simple. Last one to leave wins $10,000. This is the circle. Before your torture begins, let's go over the rules. This white line is the outside of the circle. You can step one foot out, but if both feet leave, you're out. You do not win the 10 grand. And to date, the video has about 30 million views. Not bad, not bad. Then about a week and a half ago, we tweeted, if I did a YouTuber version of this for 100K, would any big YouTubers be interested in competing? Tag your favorite creator. Now, an immediately in my head, I'm thinking, well, obviously I have to be there because I'm not a big YouTuber, I'm the biggest YouTuber. I mean, I'm not talking about subscribe, I don't give a shit about subscriber count, that's for the birds. I'm talking about 280 pounds of unadulterated bearded thickness. 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 So a bunch of you guys tagged me in that tweet, absolute legends, by the way. So he reaches out, he's like, yo, you wanna be a part of this? I'm like, yeah, hold up. Babe, honey, sweetheart, I need someone to help take care of the kid because daddy's going to LA this weekend to bring home 100K, love ya. She agrees to it and I book my flight in my hotel. Now we haven't been given a whole lot of details of what's going down, but it has been made clear to us that it's gonna be a little different to the last circle video they did for the sake of time, right? We can't just all be out in LA camping out in a circle for three weeks because we're trying to win a hundred big ones. No, so they're doing something to make it a little more difficult so it's not gonna last longer than like a day or two. All I know right now is there's gonna be a lot of standing. You're not allowed to sit. I don't think you can sleep. So you better believe I've been out in the circle just training my tits off, right? standing on my two feet. I mean, just look at the form. Absolutely crushing it. Now, I've also been informed that we're going to be required to wear a weight vest, and after every hour, they're going to add a pound to the vest, you know, so it weakens you up, makes it tough. <laughs> are, are you kidding me? Have you seen this frame? This is 280 pounds of unrelenting tenacity. I mean, you could add a pound of weight onto my frame. It's going to be like putting a drop of Visine into a 50-gallon drum of 10W40 motor oil. Not to mention, just look at this lineup. Look at this finalized lineup right here. Find me a person that weighs over 165 pounds. Casper Lee, Juke Squad, Will N.E. <laughs> I mean, the mean weight of this entire group is like 160 pounds, 163 pounds if they're walking around with their pants full of quarters. I just, give me a break, honestly. I'm just saying, if Mr. Beast was a reasonable man, he'd call this thing off right now. Honestly, just send me the check for 100k. Save everybody else the trip. If you think you're gonna put me in a circle with a bunch of 160 pound internet so celebrity twinks and have any other outcome than you handing me that 100k at the end, you've goddamn lost your mind. Oh, but Leon, what if Mr. Beast throws you some curveballs? Just because you're the 280 pound poster boy for masculinity doesn't mean he might not spice things up a little bit. You don't know you're gonna win. You don't think I prepared for that? <laughs> <laughs> this is me balancing one-legged on a Christmas tree stand. No camera tricks, just agility, cunning, strength, and perseverance. Need I go on? But what if they make you surf on a flat-screen TV? That would be an absolute doozy. Yeah, if you're not prepared for it. Oh, whoops. Perfect technique. I mean, look at the knee-to-hip ratio. Perfect alignment. It's like I came out of the womb surfing a flat-screen. I got... I got, a little uh, I got a little carried away with the sword. I don't know what I'm... I'm not really sure what I was doing there. 
That's sure, that's impressive, Leon, but there's no way you could prepare for everything they're gonna throw at you. I mean, what if they wanted you to do some slow-motion live-action role-playing set to royalty-free dubstep music? <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Are you still not convinced? Okay, let's talk about some endurance training. Sure, it's looking a little grim, okay? But what you might not know is that I've been out here standing in this circle with no food and no water for 47 minutes. <laughs> Are you serious? Find one other person that can do that. It's 47 minutes without food or water. I got a little thirsty. Uh, lay the fuck off. All right, guys, all jokes aside, um, I'm pretty excited to do this. I think it's not only going to be a lot of fun, I'm going to meet a lot of cool people. I get to meet Jimmy, Mr. Beast, who uh, I've been friends with with quite some time. Um, so I'm looking forward to all that. But it's also not every day you get like a 10% chance to walk home with $100,000, right? So it kind of happened last minute. But the wife and I were able to work out the scheduling, get my son taken care of, so I'll be able to fly out for a couple of days and uh, kick it with these guys. So I'm really looking forward to that. Again, thank you all who recommended me on that tweet. Um, you know, this is a little bit different than what I usually do. Obviously, this is going to put a little break in the normal pro programming that I do here. Uh, but I want to bring you guys along, so if you do if you do want to follow along, you can uh, follow my Instagram, at Leon Lush. I'm going to be posting stories while I'm out there. And uh, also, I'm going to be bringing a vlog camera so I can get uh, try and get some footage and bring in the, the RX100 Mark V here. Um, it's not going to have the best sound quality, but I'm not bringing this big fuck-off DSLR to this thing. I can just slip this out of my pocket when I want, get some footage of me mopping the floor with these fucking losers! I'm just kidding. I'm sure they're I'm sure they're lovely people. They're just I'm just not they're not gonna win anything. Let's be honest. So thank you guys so much for everything. Um, all the support. This last year has been a wild year, man. My life has changed so drastically in so many different ways. Um, so much of that is thanks to you guys for watching the videos, showing so much support. Um, and if we're you know, I have no expectations in this LA trip. Uh, I'm just going out to have a nice time, meet some people. Um, and do the best I can. And you know what? If I come home with nothing, it'll still be a great trip. If I come home with 100K, I'll quit YouTube and never talk to you motherfuckers again. Deuces! No, I would, I would never do something like that. Come on, baby. You know I treat you with the love and respect you deserve. So, by the time you guys see this, I'll be getting ready to head out to LA. Nigel's gonna stay home and hold down the fort. I know, I wanted to bring him to the circle too, but the pussy is afraid of flying. <laughs> if you think I'm gonna drive cross country because of your fear of flying, you got another thing coming, you stupid little bitch. Uh, if you could do me a favor, leave a comment down below. I'm gonna be uh, uploading probably the vlog experience of this whole trip when I get back, and then it'll be back to normal programming. Thank you guys for everything. If you could do me one small favor, don't forget to hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. It does mean the world to me. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.